What's up guys, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can fix a black screen when display capturing inside of OBS Studio, most likely on a laptop or a notebook. So over here, I'm on my laptop with a 1050 inside of it, as well as an Intel integrated GPU. You can see them both over here, Intel HD Graphics 630 and 1050 over here. So when you open up OBS Studio and you go ahead and add a display capture, sometimes you'll see it's completely black as such, and your actual display capture will be somewhat hidden in the top left-hand corner like this, where it's zero pixels, meaning that it hasn't initialized. Well, no matter how much you check inside of here or inside the actual settings menu, you won't be able to get it to work. Assuming that you've already tried right-clicking on the capture, going to transform and setting it to fit to screen, then there's probably an issue with OBS Studio and your laptop working together. Of course, this issue can also happen with an integrated GPU and a dedicated one on your main desktop computer or whatever, but it's far more common on notebooks and laptops. So what exactly are the steps to fixing this? Well, OBS Studio actually do have a section on their wiki that's rather useful. This page over here, linked in the description down below, has a bunch of troubleshooting steps, but of course, we're going to be running through the configure your system for display capture, because that's what we're having issues with. If you're having issues with anything else, then make sure to check this page over here and see if your answer is here. But basically, because I have an NVIDIA, it's rather well documented. For AMD users, they sort of check the official AMD support documentation, which you can find a link to from that GitHub support page in the description down below. But of course, because I'm using NVIDIA, I'll be running through this. So first of all, simply make sure that OBS Studio is closed. I obviously can't close it because I'm currently recording with it. Then right click on your desktop and head into the NVIDIA control panel or, of course, open up the NVIDIA control panel through other means. Then on the left-hand side, head across to Manage 3D Settings. And then head across to the Program Settings tab. Now, more than likely, OBS Studio will already be selected on this list over here. However, if it's not, simply click the drop-down for this list and try to find OBS Studio somewhere on it. If you find it, great, then click on it. Otherwise, click the Add button and you'll see Recently Used Programs. If you see OBS Studio here, click on it and click Add Selected Programs. Otherwise, if you don't see OBS Studio here, click on Browse, head across to C, Program Files, followed by OBS Studio, Bin, 64-bit, and then OBS 64. Of course, if you're running 32-bit OBS, you'll find the 32-bit or 86-bit folder, double-click on it, and you'll find OBS 32, OBS, or OBS 86. Either way, once you've found it, click on it and click Open. Then it should be added to this list over here, where you can click on it. Then once you've done all of those steps, simply click the drop down over here and select Integrated Graphics. Try and start up OBS and see if it works. If it doesn't work and the screen is still black, you can go ahead and select the High Performance NVIDIA Processor. If you start it up and the screen is still black, then I'd recommend minimizing this NVIDIA control panel page, pressing start and typing in display. Then opening up display settings, scrolling down to the very bottom and clicking on graphics settings. Then if you don't already see OBS here, make sure you have classic app selected and then click browse. Then we'll head back into C program files, OBS Studio, bin 64-bit or of course 32-bit and we'll be double clicking on that same EXE that we mentioned before. In my case, I've already added it. Then once it's added to this list over here, click on it to expand it and click Options. Then it'll be System Default by default. Simply select High Performance. Start it up and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then click on this option section again and click on Power Saving. This means that it will use your integrated graphics chip to go ahead and capture your screen. Of course, you may be wondering how exactly am I going to use NVIDIA's power to record? Well, you still will be able to. Either way, I selected Power Saving and hit Save. Then I opened up OBS Studio, and if it works, great. Otherwise, make sure that you have Integrated selected over there, and inside of NVIDIA Control Panel, select Integrated Graphics. Start it up again, and see if it works. If it does, close it, head back to NVIDIA, and try to pick the high-performance NVIDIA processor here. Then, if it works, great, you're actually set up completely to use OBS Studio at full power. But either way, that should fix a black display capture issue. If you still see it's really tiny and in the top left corner, simply right click, head across to transform and click fit to screen. And right click, transform, center to screen. That'll make sure that it takes up all of the available space and you're basically set. Either ways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Technobby here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.